Hey everybody, what's up? It's Trevor with the Amputee Coalition. We are a couple of days post Thanksgiving here in the US and uh, I know I'm feeling the effects of eating a bunch of wonderful food, so it is time for an at-home workout. Uh, I'm gonna cover kind of my total body here and uh, we are going to just get a good sweat going. So uh, feel free to scale these exercises to your abilities. Uh, don't push too hard, don't get hurt, okay? And don't exercise without the advice of a physician or other medical professional. So um, all I've got here is a yoga mat and I've got a raised or elevated surface, my ottoman in my living room here. Um, we're gonna start off with a plank position on our elbows, like so, all right? Um, if you need to for your uh, residual limb, you can use a uh, you can use a pad or something like that to uh, help you know uh, pr protect or absorb some of the impact on the ground. We're just going to be holding this position though. Uh, Want to stay strong in the shoulder blades. Don't let yourself sag down like this. Keep everything nice and high. Squeeze the belly. You'll hold that for 15 or 20 seconds. If that's a little too easy for you, we can work our way up into the uh, onto the raised surface, and it gets a little bit harder. Same thing, 15, 20 seconds here. Then we're going to work our way from plank into push-up position. So shift the weight on the elbow, push up, good. We're not actually doing a push-up. You can if you want to, but that comes after this. So five or so of those. And once again, you can still progress it like so. Okay, after that, we go into the actual push-up position. So, uh, shoulders should be directly above the wrists. Just like that. I'm tucking the elbows. If you want to go a little bit wider with your grip, you can kind of flare your elbows out a little bit more. Um, same thing applies though. We can progress by going to the elevated surface. Good. Five or 10 of those. And then into a bridge. This one is one that you're definitely going to want a raised surface for. Um, it doesn't have to be as big as this ottoman. It can be a small stool or a chair. Uh, whatever you've got will work. Like so. Placing the end of my legs on the uh, surface here. I'm gonna press in, raise the hips up by squeezing my butt cheeks together. Good, five or 10 of those. Last but not least, I'm gonna place my legs underneath my ottoman here. You might wanna get somebody to hold you down or uh, uh, because when we do crunches, amputees tend to wanna to raise those legs up and that creates momentum, which isn't a good thing when we're working out. So, got my legs underneath the ottoman here. We're going to cross our hands across our chest or we can reach straight out in front, doesn't really matter. Just going to raise the shoulder blades off the mat. and 10 of those. So, all of our exercises in order again, plank, plank to high plank, push up, uh, bridge, and then crunch, all right? And you can hold, scale this workout to your, uh, to your needs and to your abilities. So, uh, just because I did five or 10 of everything doesn't mean that you need to. Do what you can, be safe in progressing yourself, and if it hurts, don't do it. Let me know if you guys have any questions at all. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. Have a beautiful rest of your day.